Welcome back. EA has officially gave us our first career tribute card, which is JJ Watt. JJ Watt retired just a couple days ago. He had an amazing career, a 12 year career, 12 seasons in the NFL at defensive end. You know, he's been getting hit, he's been, you know, hitting people as well, you know, getting those sacks on quarterback and anyone basically have back some wide receivers depending on what he's also been scoring touchdowns as well as you know uh jj watt has a few touchdown uh receptions and stuff i'll read through all of his achievements right here but you know we got this jj watt card this is actually in the main event so it's used with not program stamina but regular stamina which is pretty cool and we have chances to pull the 150 something card because there's a lower card that you can take you need two of those to get the 163 which is like the foil card but this is a different color it's a green kind of theme so that means every time someone retires the career tribute card will be green which is pretty cool that's actually nice we're getting different kind of um you know looks at it which this is an iconic but it just has a green look so it's not a new rarity guys it's not a new rarity it's just a different color of the iconic card just to fit the career tribute theme so yeah jj watt played 12 seasons in the nfl he achieved a lot three-time defensive player of the year seven-time all pro team five-time pro ball selection two-time led the nfl in sacks one-time walter payton nfl man of the year 143 career games with 520 tackles 110.5 career sacks four straight seasons with at least 10 sacks uh and then it just says get his career tribute card they didn't even put his touchdown you know receptions and stuff like that you know if you were a fan of jj watt you're a fan they have his you know texans look because i think he did a better job over in the beginning because you know he was known for it at all uh playing the with the texans and stuff so it's cool to see him wearing the texan jersey and the card actually representing the texans where he started from and where he kind of you know was known from playing on the houston texans when they were actually sort of good back then um and then he moved to the cardinals so he's playing for the texans cardinals he did decent with the cardinals i'm not gonna lie he still achieved a lot and yeah let's go into this so if you guys you know are in the news tab looking at that and you just go here all you have to do is click on core and then madden base and then it's right there on the bottom a huge thing and then you just click on the event now this right here we have a jj watt card we can get and then changes at the rare one and then chance that the iconic one there is no epic one there's just uncommon and rare which i want to check the sets though if there's uncommon or rare. i really don't know how that's fitting so let's oh it's traits man i'm going back till the other madden mobile days Jeez. okay so let's check the trades where is or is this in court i don't even know where this is um let's see i actually don't know where this is because it's it's in madden base right it would be no it's on the top i actually don't know where it is okay wait, let's go back into core and click on this and then click on this i don't even know but we're gonna go ahead and attempt it. it's 50 stamina each it is regular stamina because you know if it was program stamina would be like really impossible to get this is like a little bit more I guess you could say affordable in a way because to get more regular stamina it costs 50 madden cash and then the next one's a, it's like it's cheaper each time program stamina that's different that's like 200 then it like goes jump to 400 it's crazy okay uh i don't see where i can go throughout the sets to find one so i don't know really i've i've seen sets i've seen the set i've seen the set i don't know where it is though fully I'll, wait are they gonna call a timeout if it goes down too much they shouldn't. I don't know if the computer's that smart. Five, four, three, two, one. Hit zero. There we go. Easy win. Give me that. Uh, hopefully, we can auto it afterwards, unless you have to actually play it every single time, which is annoying. But here we go. Let's see what we got. And this should be our... Yep. Okay. So, it's just... Oh, it's a JJ Watt we already had in the game. Oh, okay. 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 There's the auto. I love to see that. Now... We're going to go ahead and basically spend 50 because 50 is a little bit. For 200, that's pretty nice. I'll do that for sure. And I want to see how much is the next one. Oh, 150. That's not bad. Okay, we'll do that as well. So I did it two times for the refills. And then 
how much is a third refill 200 that's actually not that bad i'm gonna actually reset the game so i you know i'm not playing where it's glitched or anything hopefully so let me do that so let's see if this reset actually worked will these sets appear and you know was there anything out of the blue i guess you could say let's see um it's in core core yeah core is man and base and it should be in there but it's not it's, i was thinking it would be limited time but it's not even there i am oh there it is okay for some reason they put it in the playoff section oh my god that is stupid but there it is you know we're, we've been looking for it I don't know why it was in the playoff section, but it is an iconic foil. Uh, you do need the two 153s for the 163, but if you do pull a 153, I would say keep it. You know, if you pull two, I guess you're lucky as heck and you can get your foil, but honestly, it's pretty cool either way. Uh, here's the 163 and the stats uh, for you guys right there. Uh, and then if you want to, you know, boost them up 10 levels, you get the foil. It's a 182. And yeah, the 153. Should have decent stats as well. We're going to the store. And then we're opening the packs and see if we can pull this JJ Watt. See if we can pull this JJ Watt. It would be so cool if we could. Can I? I can't see stats. Okay, great. Thank you, EA, for that. Let's go and open the packs. Uh, his stats are probably a little bit less than the actual higher foil card, obviously. But yeah, we got some packs to open. We got a lot to open, I guess, right? 13. But. Actually, do you get... Oh, wait. Do you get an uncommon every time? Yeah, okay. I think you get an uncommon every time. Unless you don't. I don't even know. Okay, there's a lot in here. There can be an iconic in here. Just, just to let you guys know. I don't know if it's like the best ones up front. I don't know how it works. But maybe we just got all 85s. And that was just one bust of an event. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Let's see. Last one. Wow, all the 85s. I, you know what? I got a lot of uncommons. <laughs> I told JJ what. Um, yeah, I bet someone has pulled it. Let's not lie. I bet someone has pulled it. And let's just waste a little bit more mana cash because why not? 200 more stamina. This would give us four more. I, you know, the event is actually really pricey. It's 50 stamina though. But it is easier to get the regular stamina than program stamina. So I guess, I, you know, it's yay. 85, 85, 85, 85. Okay, got a lot of his 85s to be fair. And that is going to do it for this one. Hey, comment down below if you actually pulled a career tribute or if you had enough mana cash shaved up that you actually bought it in the store. Which, if you have mana cash shaved up, that's free, you know? That's 100% free. You've been saving it up. You're lucky. Congrats. And, you know, if you didn't and you actually spent money on mana cash, you know, you're full. Not really. It's all your decision, but hey, that's it for this one. I would call this, you know, career tribute kind of a bust in the way because I didn't pull something. Well, I basically didn't get lucky, as I should say. So I'm calling it a bust. So, yeah. Um, just like all the other career tributes, to be fair. You know, I'm being honest right here. I'm being really honest because if you're not lucky, it's a bust of a thing because this is like a limited time sort of event in a way because if we go to Mount and Base and let's click on this. What is it? 43 hours we have on this. I guess I can keep trying, which would be cool, I guess. But if I do that, actually, maybe I'll just save as much packs as possible for the career tribute and make another video. But for now, it was a bust. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Drop a like down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.